Hey YouTube, um, this is just a quick video to show off my new watch. It's the Omega Seamaster Aquaterra um, 2503.33.00. Um, this one uh, comes on a metal band. There's also another reference, I think it's maybe 2803.33 point something something. And that comes on a leather band and it's the exact same watch but just a different um, a different band. It's a little cheaper for the leather but anyway. Uh, this one is uh, a watch that is automatic, obviously. It's got Omega's 2500 coaxial um, automatic movement. It is fantastic. I, I just got it today, and um, while I was looking them up, I tried to find a video on YouTube to, to show this watch, but I just I couldn't, I couldn't find one. So I decided that I would make a video, and maybe one or two people will stumble upon this and find it useful. So one thing you should know is if you're interested in this watch, it doesn't look like it does in the pictures. If you look up um, the reference number on YouTube and look up the watch that was sold by uh, a guy named Crane Killy, I, I believe, he's got like this watch in front of a tile, some sort of like a tile and it's multicolored. It looks like it's um, very bright blue, but in reality, it's more of like it's like a black gray when you look at it straight up so you have to see it at a specific angle of light to see the blue but honestly I wasn't disappointed at all I was really happy with the complexity of it and um, I don't know maybe it's not what you thought and it turns you off but personally I'm happy with it so I'll turn it around here I don't care if you see the serial number it doesn't really matter but um, Omega's in the house, I believe, 2500, either C or D, coaxial, and it is something to look at for sure. It's got the Omega Indy counterfeit glow back there, this one still has a red dot. Um, so you can see it says uh, Seamaster Aquaterra, coaxial escapement, Omega, um, 20 millimeter lugs, and just for comparison, this is um, a watch of pretty much the same generation. Um, I don't know the reference off the top of my head, but it's just a quartz. It is um, honestly a completely different watch. I think that this is easily twice the watch of this because there's just something about the second hand moving about like six times per second. It just it adds so much to the experience, and um, I think it was totally worth the money. So. I'll go ahead and uh, maybe make a loom shot for you all. It's pretty much the same as all the other Aquaterras, but just for for kicks. I'll go ahead and show you how it looks at night. All right, so here's a loom. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on the on the camera. It's slightly better in real life. Um, Pretty much the same watch. Uh, I believe the white one's slightly newer, but uh, it's it's really not that great. It is not excellent. So if you were looking for the Loom, I would say go for a Seamaster Professional or some other, maybe a Speedmaster or something like that. If you're an Omega per person, but um, I mean it's acceptable. I'm fine with it. It's better than nothing. But again, this watch is a jack of all trades, and I'm completely happy with the amount of Luma Omega put on it. I don't think they should have put much more than that honestly because I kind of like how it's kind of stealthy. So, take one more look down there. Well, that's about it. Uh, let me know if you guys liked this video or if it was useful to you. That I'd really appreciate that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and let the two watches run. I'm sorry I don't have a tripod or anything, but it's the best I can do. So, enjoy.